and it was like really, really, really rural. So they didn't really used to go out much or anything like the farm was their life. And when they first moved there, they didn't have electric or water or anything like that. So they had to get all of that um, sorted. There's not much in the way of uh, a career here. It's, it's always nice to come back, but in terms of job prospects, there's there's not much here. Yeah, there wasn't much work. There was the clock factory, what was called the Tick Tock, in, uh, in Astrid. But that was the only factory um, around, really. Well, no, I, I enjoy farming. I've uh, always have farmed in the last 60 years. So the youngsters have moved away. Once they went to college, they moved away and they haven't come back. In later life, they would like to come back. But there are no houses here now because we didn't build 30 years ago. Mm. And it's a big problem to get planning at the moment. Yeah. You know, this is a trouble. I think we're losing that. We've lost it here in Mathai because the pub is now closed, the shop is closed, and the post office has gone, and the school. So it's a very small community. Trigonos, um, well, Every day there was a, you put your bum up for a needle, a streptomycin, I think it was. And they also give you a, a little glass of PAS, it was called, a brown liquid, which was absolutely disgusting. You had to knock it back in one go and, oh, it was revolting, revolting. Yeah, well, the railway station, is in Kumwistu, uh, is in Penwicht, right. which is now a nature, a nature reserve, yeah. and that railway station was commissioned by Adelina Patti yeah. uh, for her own private railway, so that the Prince of Wales would come and visit her to hear her singing. <laughs> you can't go into a farming uh, community uh, and leave them in a state of uncertainty and hope that they'll vote for you. They won't. It was a appalling year for snow, 1947. And they were all out there in their beds with just a tap hole in over them. So you can live on a London wage and then live, actually physically live in sort of West Wales or, or, or up at Swansea Valley in this case. And I, I think it's quite tough as locals because uh, obviously that dries up house prices and etc. Um, it's just bad for us. But then people, you can see why people want to move to the countryside. So there's definitely a shift in how things are in the countryside here now. Um, if it's for good or for bad, it's a matter of opinion, but that's how it is. So rain, snow, hail, whatever, they were out there. Part of the treatment. Some treatment. I think it must have killed half of them. But for example, I would come back to this area because I had farming families back here. You would have different groupings of people, even though I may only come to something like Mudvai or Llandaila once a year. I would still have a groupings of friendships that I could pick up, or acquaintances, perhaps you true a term, but there'd be that sense of that belonging. I don't think the same holds true now, because there aren't the ready-made communities applauded all the time. Uh, I missed the lecture that was given recently on the phys physicians of Mother. Um, I'm appalled to say that I, I married into a medical family, and the first time my wife had heard of the physicians of Mother. I think it was a matter of months ago when we, when we bought uh, Eskimo Val. Well, what I like about where we live in the village, it's like where I was born in Manchester at that time. Because where I was born has changed. Yeah. Half the street's been knocked down, the shops are all gone. It's all different people live there now. But up in Colburn, it's like how I was brought up. We're in the street, I know the neighbours, I know the people who live in the village. It's just like it was when I was young. It was a community, back to a community. I don't want to be here in its future. <laughs> My whole game plan is to escape. Um, it's hard to tell. There's lots of really hideous housing development going on, so we, we are unfortunately moving to that point where we're going to have a lot of, oh, what do they call them? People who travel for work, so Swansea, here and back, um, what's it called, that kind of community? A commuter, yes, a commuter, commuter community, without necessarily the village 
gaining anything as a result of it. So it's already happened. We've got quite a lot of big, hideous brown brick executive home kind of developments where people on quite nice wages are moving into the area, but they're not necessarily using the area. So unless we can get them or introduce, get businesses to move into the area that, that those people will then use, that it's going to become more of a dead town, I think. Well, no, I, I don't say, but you know, on Wednesday night I used to go courting as well, uh, but you had to choose between one or the two, really. So I had to change the night. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, you, you always sort of miss it, the certain parts of it that you miss, and you always want to come back, but not for too long. Maybe it becomes too sickly, the sort of, <laughs> the quietness, the tranquility. So it's, it's nice in small doses, I'd say.